Hello everybody, my name is Hardy Murdy and welcome back to the channel and today I am here in Blender and today I made this for you guys. So basically this is a wolf tail. Um, the character base isn't here right now because I deleted it. But basically what kind of happened is um, I had recorded this all and put it into Minecraft and everything and then my recording decided to not go through so I lost it. But um... So I'm just going to show this over for you guys. I'm going to put it in the description if you guys don't want to do the work to edit because it's going to be very glossed over. So, um, actually, I just wanted to make something really, two things really clear real quick. If you have the character base open, which is the little Minecraft block and this tail, if the textures are pink or are broken, don't worry about it. The, like, um, basically, this is our OBJ that is covered by a texture at the moment um, in the UV image editor. Which, what I have done is I made my skin, and I just put in the little texture, and it just went right up into the top corner. The skin textures are 40, um, 96 by, excuse me, 40, 96. Um, just so you guys know that for when you're making the skin. So you put in your skin, put the texture on top, and it should fit. And then you open that up, and you're going to want to go into object mode, edit mode, um, wireframe. And then you, once it's orange, that means it's selected. And if it's not selected, you can just hold control and drag over your tail and make sure everything is selected. And make sure your tail is also facing um, to the gourds, the green arrow going this way, because this is the camera. So now you're just going to go into UV image editor and you're going to see this is where I placed mine so that it should all line up good because you have to UV map these kind of things. So basically, this is where your model is going to be when it is seen. This is where the textures for the model are. And the rest that's going to be shown is your skin. So that's basically how it works. So we're just going to go back into the 3D timeline. And another thing I wanted to mention you guys had problems with is you guys would get this little um, cube at the bottom. And that is because you left this little cube as the name cube when it needs to be changed to the actual limb. Which in the case, the last video was ears. But I named this tail, so you're also going to want to name this tail. Along with this little polygon triangular thing, um, you're going to want to make it tail as two. But it's also called data. It's apparently. Anyway, um, so you have your key, your object, which is also going to be named tail, and your data, which is going to be named tail. This basically just links everything up for Blockbuster. So then, when you are done with that, and you have everything UV mapped, and you have placed it where you want, um... You would, of course, use the character for guidelines, which I will put in the description, along with this model and along with the original model if you guys actually want to make your own, even though this video won't really help you make it and it's more like a download thing. But anyway, so now we're going to um, click File and Export as an Wavefront OBJ. Now you're going to name this model and make sure it's named Model so that Blockbuster can read it. And you're going to want to go down here and click Triangulate Faces. Then you would click export. Alright, so now we're in Minecraft. I'm so sorry about that. I basically recorded and like all of this already. And then it just, the screen wasn't like, okay, anyway, I'm having lots of problems today. So now we are here in Minecraft. Um, and of course the mods you're going to need is Blockbuster and Metamore. So um, we have our active configuration device. So this is our actor right here. This is our trusty little heart. And basically, um... I have my morph here and she is all set up so basically what I did when I imported the model was um, I just have to open up the template here hold on okay um this was called wolf tail that's not it okay there we go wolf tail so this is my wolf tail I know it looks really weird but so to start what I did was um, I added a new limb which was tail which is going to be the same as whatever you called your cube um, your object and your data and then I clicked save as wolf tail or whatever name you want to use. You could use wolf, um, or wolf tail, whatever you want to use. Then you want to go into settings and change the texture size, which is going to be 64 by 32 to 64 so that it can read the 40 by 96 um, skin. And then you want to click provides OBJ model. So now that that's done, um, you're going to save it and you're basically going to go into your config. <gasps> I'm so sorry. So then you're gonna go into your dot Minecraft folder and you're going gonna go into your config, Blockbuster, models, 
and wolf tail or whatever you called it and you're going to take the UV map skin and throw it into here as long as well as this model will be jable pop up or model.json and then you're going to want to put in the uh, material object you got and the object file you got so take these two drag it from wherever you put them and put them back or into here and then you're going to exit this so now you're going to reload up the model because blockbuster is going to read it and it's going to be like oh okay so now that they have the information that they need we're going to have to normally i just have to play around with this um we are going to need to grab the um oh heck <laughs> the um pose or the positions so when it comes to the tail itself it is going to need to be negative 24 in this section right here and then one all the way over here for it to work like mine and you're going to want to click change parent and you're going to make the parent for this body so that your tail is going to sit on the body and it is going to um basically what it does is that the tail itself will follow the body anywhere it goes and now that you have um that your tail is going to follow your body but basically you're going to want to, going to, want to click standing and you're going to want to click sneaking and then select done so you can see here that these are also different so make sure that this one happens to be zero and then this is going to be negative 24 as well and one one and one and then that is going to be it for inside of this editor um and then you should be all good so now you're going to save it and then you're going to use metamorph which is a blockbuster component and i'm so excited because 1.5 for blockbuster is coming out soon yay and then you are just um going to demorph in this case for me um yes we're back to normal okay good happy and then you are going to that's the wrong button mm, okay you are going to push whatever map whatever key you have mapped in your controls for Blockbuster's model opener. And we are just going to find our wolf tail and we are going to morph into it. Ha! Ah, there we go. This is our tail. It's beautiful. I love it. And actually, um, you can see the tail is moving slightly. This is actually a feature with Blockbuster, which you can do by opening up your editor again. And then, um, opening up this and being like wolf tail and then like done and now you're gonna click tail go here and click swinging um looking or ideal just in this case what I have swiping invert but we just put it on ideal so that it moves and no hands I don't know what that means I don't know man and then um, you're just going to save it again and you're going to ex do that and then you have your moving tail now it doesn't really pivot well because it moves within the body but you know it doesn't matter it's still exciting and it still looks hella good away words a bit it still looks good you don't have to turn on this as well you can kind of have whatever on that you want my tail is uneven hold the phone yeah so um i accidentally closed out minecraft and that's pretty much the end of the video anyway so i hope this helped you be sure to check the description of course as always thank you all so much for watching and yeah i'll see you guys all next time Bye. -bye. <laughs> okay